Hello everybody and welcome back to another talking tutorial. I'm just gonna get straight into it this time. No fuffling around and no rabbiting just because it's quite boring so I thought I'd spare you from listening to me drone on all the time. Today's look is going to be majorly inspired by Barbie. Well I first wanted to do it around flowers. I've been really into like flower power right now for my makeup looks but with the barbie movie coming out lately i well coming out soon i decided that i wanted to do it based off around barbie because the topic is around barbie there are going to be quite a lot of pinks there's going to be little bits of other colors like orange because i know that comes through in a lot of artwork and logos and stuff so it's just going to be compilation of pretty colourful flowers essentially. Going in with the No Rule Stick by Mina now and I want to have a nice pink flush just from here going down just basically making it one whole blend of my face and I want this to be the base of a lot of pink. I look quite diseased and fevered at the moment but it'll all come together at the end I promise you. I left my blush palette in the other room so I'm going to improvise because I can't be bothered to go and get it and I'm going to use this Beauty Bay EYN Bright Palette and it's essentially just a rainbow palette and I'm going to use a mixture of this baby pink and white and just going over the top of that blush just because I want to make it more Barbie-esque. I'm not too fussed with how either patchy or messy it looks like I got some all over my nose just because this is the base of the look so we're gonna go over it and cover it anyway. Time to jump onto the eyes now and I'm taking this peachy pink shade and just whacking that over the top of my eye and then I'm just blending it out. So I look quite ill now because I'm all pink and all red <laughs> essentially but I'm going to go in with my glisten liners now and I'm going to just start by basically placing where I want each flower to be just so I can map it out on my face. I'm just starting by drawing out those flowers now and just starting with the base of it. I've done just the basic flowers that I wanted to do. I'm not sure if I want to do more yet, we'll see as time goes on. But I'm definitely going to overlap a few with these consisting ones. But now we're just going to start making them more colourful, more fun and expand on them. Just make them more Barbie. I've done the first lot of the flowers. Personally, don't love them. But usually when I hate something and I keep going on with it, it turns out fine. So I'm just going to keep going so i'm gonna add some flowers probably around this area but with mainly pinks and like darker pinks and stuff so we'll see how that goes just did the pink right here and then just going over it with darker colors well, around it <laughs> i finally added the rest of the flowers and added some gems just to zhuzh it up a bit and now i'm gonna go in with my mascara as always i'm going in with my maybelline lash sensational mascara just popping that on my lashes done my mascara now so i can go onto my base and i know it's not the best but i'm still gonna use it just because i have it and It'd be a waste otherwise and that would make me sad so I'm just going to go in with this NYX pore filler. Then my Maybelline Fit Me concealer in 06, just putting that on the brush. No waste in this household. And just putting that under my eyes, on my nose because I tend to get a lot of redness there and just blending that out to the rest of my face. Now I just want to go back in with that Mina No Rule Stick and just basically contour with blush, giving that a good blend. Neating up that contour, I've just dabbed a bit of the concealer down the bridge of my nose and on the tip. Powder time and I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, dabbing that there and just packing that on, mainly on the areas where 
I get quite oily and where I've applied that concealer. And I never usually put on any highlight or shimmer just because it's not my thing. I'm more of a matte gal. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose and on my lips and also on my inner corners. Everything is done apart from the lips and I'm going in with this MUA lip liner in Heartbreaker and just running my lips I guess. I ended up just putting it all over my lips so that's why it's not just a line. <laughs> but then I'm going to go in lastly with some Butter Gloss by NYX in the shade of Praline. I think it's called or Praline. Just using that on top. And that is it. Let me know what you think of this look. I hope you enjoyed this talking tutorial and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!